Nais kong maging bahagi ng isang adhikain At makiisa sa gawaing makajosa at masaya Paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa Sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay Kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows Tara na! Viva Pater Dolorosa Virgo de la Pieta Viva Pater Dolorosa De la Pieta Ora pro nobis Sa OLS Ituloy ang saya Sa hirap man at pandemia Pagpapanat di gaya ay makakamtan Kapit lang sa Diyos ng lubusan Salamat po, O Diyos, Ama, sa pagpapala mong lubos. Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus na iyong anak kami tinubos. Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay. At kain ng Maria, ang bagong Eva na mapagkalinga. Viva! Please all stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. 
Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us include in our prayers the intentions of Dominador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and Family, Peruel de la Peña Santosilde Saligre Families, Marisa Aboitis, Melinda Gao, Feli Kiambao and Kiambao Security, Rosita Dizon, Melba Marbella, Calumian Resources Corporation, Napol de Luna, Juan Gregorio Tomagan, Espectacion Tomagan, Queenie Tomagan, Charmaine Tomagan, Gregorio Tomagan, Shalani Kanga, Chantel Kanga, Stanley Kanga, Christina Kanga, Karen Garcia, Father Rusty de la Peña SSP, Father Ramon Manalo SSP, Father Arthur Palisada SSP, Patrice Ancese. Letlet Salcedo, Bing Ruiz and Family, Jello and Elaine, Paulo, Marlo, Orlando, Milagros, Frank, Cynthia, Jaime, Attorney Evangeline Yamas and Family, Magdalena Clava Ivaldez, Princess Ivaldez Chua, Chua Family, Neil and Bubbles Rosario, Angela and Daniel Rosario, General Thomas Tomas Dumpit, Paz Dizer, Patsy Siliona Aguilar and Family, Peaches and Joel Tuason and Family, Apples and Onat, Roldan and Family, Martin and Jam Aguilar, Orange, Gian and Lilivia Galsin, Marizen and Ching Tomas and Family, Bobby and Tina Siliona and Family, Manong Jun Siliona and Family, Glenn Siliona, Fe Amor Ilagan, Noli Dikulen, Dikulen, Angela Lucas, Aurora Estrella, Abeng Advincula, Ingracia Family, Lorenzo and Maria, Paz Family, Fabian Family, Edna de la Cruz and Lara Family. Naomi Trinidad, all unborn children, all the sick, all frontliners and healthcare workers, all persecuted Christians. For the birthday thanksgiving of Father Jesus Guzon, SSP, Maria Susana Paderes, and Abigail Lagarto. For the eternal repose of the souls of Carmelita Guzman, Lutgardo and Erlinda, Angelico and Estelita, Alfonso and Blandina, Gregorio, Raul Jr. and Corazon, Medina Tapang, Ricardo Jr., Ricardo Sr., Rosalina Marquez, Jose Chan, Chuy Hyukshu, Father Manny Ismael, Puy Sao Ming, Rogelio Dizer, Rosemary Villegas, Rustin, Justin Daniel Bataclan, Remiel Connell, Father Joseph Butlig SCJ, Artemio Salamat, Marcelita Salamat, Gilberto Liama Sr., Milagros Liamas, Lourdes Cruz, Bartola Liamas, Celia Santos, Conrad Angeling Orofino, Luningning Canseco, 
Edna Flora and Vincent Flora, Gloria Zabala, Pilar Zabala, Sister Rose Zabala, Jesus Zabala, Luzgardo del Rosario, Ligaya Maranan Cuya, Nolly Ruiz, Leonora Antiporda Chua, Gaudencio and Julita Siliona, Francisco and Benjamin Siliona, Reynaldo and Lilia Siliona, Felix and Edward Siliona, Hernando and Felicissima Aguilar, Hernan Aguilar, Bal Balbino Auditor, Ralph and Dinky Mendoza, Lourdes and Virgilio Siliona, Daniel Lara, Servando Palatao, Abay Palatao, Vexena Lara, Esteban Valeroso, Robert Ching C. Tam, the soul of all unborn children, for the lost, forgotten, and abandoned souls in purgatory, all who died of COVID-19, all who died from calamities, all who died from tragedies, and all the souls in purgatory. Magandang umaga po mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Ialay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, deboto at benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang Misa ay iaalay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, ang Mass Presider ay si Reverend Father James Biher, SSP. Tayo po ay makiisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. Entrance Antiphone The gates of heaven were open for blessed Stephen, who was found to be first among the number of the martyrs, and therefore is crowned triumphant in heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Good morning, Father. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Stephen, Martyr, Deacon, and Martyr. Now, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you. We bless you. you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You, you are seated at the, at the right, right hand, hand of the Father. Father. Have, Have mercy on us. us. For you For alone you are the Holy One. one. You, you alone, alone are the Lord. You, you alone, alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the, the glory of God, God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord, we pray, 
that we may imitate what we worship and so learn to love even our enemies. For we celebrate the heavenly birthday of a man who knew how to pray even for his persecutors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens open." and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father is speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. 
Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. Sisters and brothers, this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga pong muli sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Sa unang araw, pagkatapos ng Pasko ng Kapanganakan, pinagidiriwang natin ang kapistahan ni San Esteban. Siya ang kauna-unahang martir na nagbuwis ng buhay alang-alang sa pananampalataya sa Panginoon. Ang Panginoon na namatay sa krus na buhay na magmuli at umakyat sa langit. Kadalasan, ang kapistahan ng mga banal ay itinatakda sa araw ng kanilang kamatayan sapagkat iyon din ay nangangahulugan ng kanilang pagsilang sa langit. Subalit minarapat na ilagay ang kapista ni San Stephen sa ikalawang araw ng Pasko. Hindi dahil sa namatay siya sa araw na ito, kundi upang ipahayag na sa naganap na pagsilang ng manunubos sa araw ng Pasko ay natitiyak ang kaligtasang handog ng Diyos sa tao. Ang kaligtasan ng sangkatabuhan ay nakamit nang ialay ni Jesus ang buhay niya sa krus. Ayon nga sa mga dalubhasang teologo, the cross already over on the baby Jesus in the manger. Kaya masasabi na si Esteban ang unang umani ng putong ng korona ng kaligtasan na angkop sa kanyang pangalan. Ang pangalang Esteban ay hango sa Griego, Estefanos. Subalit ayon sa tradisyon, ang kanyang talagang pangalan ay Kelil, isang katagang Aramaiko, na ang ibig sabihin ay Corona. At ang Estefanos at Kelil ay Corona ang kahulugan. Sa aklat ng mga gawa, binanggit na si San Stephen ay lubusan sa pananampalataya sa Diyos at puspos ng Espiritu Santo na mapalad na napabilang sa pitong diakono o lalaking nahirang na tumulong sa gawaing paglilingkod ng mga apostol. Sinabi rin pinagpala siya ng Diyos at pinagkaluuban ng kapangyarihan kaya't nakagagawa siya ng mga kababalaghan at himala sa harap ng madla. Hindi lang siya isang tagapaglingkod, kundi mahusay din siyang tagapagpahapayag at tagapagpaliwanag ng mabuting balita. Malaunan, siya ay pinagkaisahan ng mga kalaban na hindi umubra sa kanyang matalinong pananalita. Kaya siya ay pinagbintangang lumapastangan sa templo at kay Moises. Nang iharap sa Sanhedrin o hukuman, siya ay nagsalita nung husay buong husay tungkol sa kasaysayan ng kanilang pananampalataya na humantong sa pagtatanghal kay Jesus, ang matuwid na pinapatay nila ng mga Hudyo. Kaya nagalit, puspos ng galit ang sadidrin, lalo na ng puspos ng Espiritu ay tumingala si San Esteban 
at sinabing nakita niya na nabuksan ang langit at si Sukristo ay nakatayo sa kanan ng Diyos. Kinuyog siya ng mga tao at inilabas sa Jerusalem, malapit sa Damascus. At doon ay pinagbabato hanggang mamatay. Subalit, bago siya nalagutan ng hininga, nakapagpanalangin pa siya ng ganito, Panginoon Jesus, tanggapin mo ang aking espiritu. At Panginoon, huwag mo silang panagutin sa kasalanan ito. Napakagiting na kamatayan na halos tinularan, tinularan ang kamatayan ng Panginoong Iso Kristo sa krus. Tama lamang ang ipinahayag sa Salmong Tugunan. Puon sa mga kamay mo, habilin ko ang buhay ko. Hindi ba dito nang galing ang isa sa mga puto, uh, pitong huling wika ng Panginoong Isus habang siya ay nakabayubay sa krus? Yun pala ay panalangin ng lubos na pagtitiwala sa pangangaalaga, pag-iingat at pagkatanggol ng Diyos sa harap ng matinding pagsubok, kapighatian at mistulang pagkabigo. Ito pala ay pagpapaubaya ng sariling buhay sa kamay ng puong may kapal sa pananalig na ang kanyang pag-ibig ay walang katapusan at hindi magmamalim. Panalangin na nagpapaubaya dahil sa paniniwala na ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon ay darating upang tuparin ang pangako niyang pagliligtas. Ipinahayag ng Panginoon sa mabuting balita ang mga nakaambang mabibigat na pagsubok na kakaharapin ng mga naghahangad makasunod sa Kanya, kagaya na nangyari kay San Esteban. Sabi ng Panginoon, mag-ingat kayo sapagkat kayo'y darakipin at isasakdal sa mga samhidrin. Ahagupitin kayo sa kanilang mga sinaguga at dadalhin kayo sa mga gobernador at mga hari ng dahil sa pagsundin niyo sa akin. May mga paghihirap at karanasan na mararanasan ang mga nagnanais makasunod, makasunod sa Panginoon. Pero hindi naman nagpapabaya ang Panginoon. Kagaya ng nangyari kay San Esteban, hindi siya naubusan ng matatalinong salita sa kanya mga kalaban dahil sa sabi ng Panginoon, hindi kayo ang magsasalita, kundi ang Espiritu ng Ama ang magsasalita sa pamagitan ninyo. Sa ipinamalas na kagitingan at tapang ni San Esteban, lumabas ang kapangyarihan ng Espiritu Santo na lumulukob at gumabay sa Kanya upang maging matibay sa pagpapatutuo kay Iso Kristo. Gayon din nawa ang diwa na sumaatin sa panahon na ito ng Pasko. Nawa ay may pamalas natin ang katapatan sa Diyos. Huwag sana tayong padaig sa mga inaalok ng mundo na pawang pansariling kapakanan lamang ang talab bilang tulong para sa ating buhay. Mapaglabanan nawa natin ang pag-iiral ng kasakiman, ang pagiging makasarili, pagsasamantala at paglalamang sa kapwa. 
lalahanin sana natin ang sinabi ng Panginoon. Ang manatiling tapat hanggang wakas ang siyang maliligtas. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, in the name of Jesus who rose victorious from sin and death, we come to you in this time of COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. With humility and faith, we pray, Lord, we trust in you. Lord, we trust in you. <clears throat> that Pope Francis, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious will be constant teachers and examples of gospel faith, hope, and love, that they witness to the great power of the Divine Spirit, even as they encourage practical and social actions to alleviate the effects of the contagion. We pray, Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you, that medical and scientific researchers, pharmaceuticals, doctors, Hospital and healthcare administrators be guided by heartfelt human solidarity and by their conscience in their task to find cures for the infected and ways to stop the transmission of the virus with vaccines and with every possible means available. We pray, Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. you, that government officials and agencies in charge of general welfare and of peace and order be motivated by true love of all, that they always give disinterested service due to all, especially for the poor who are greatly disadvantaged. We pray, Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. you, that the sick and their families find the value of family love that supports and heals, and the importance of sincere continuing prayer that bears fruit not just in healing, but in the conversion of hearts and minds. We pray, Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you, that owners of business, goods and services, and economic managers balance their money-making with greater efforts to help their community. We pray, Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you, that health frontliners, peace and order frontliners, and other basic service frontliners be sustained in their health, in their family needs, and in their moral and spiritual strength. We pray, Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in, in you, that the dead find eternal rest, that their grieving families find solace in prayer, and in loving and caring for one another. We pray, Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in, in you. you. That those who are healthy may not just be indifferent, but be constant in interceding for all, and in sharing their time, talent, and treasure to sustain community and church services. We pray, Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. you. Let us pause for a moment for our personal and community concerns. We pray, Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in, in you. Father, we know nothing is impossible with you. In the name of Jesus and through the prayers of the Blessed Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, stop this pandemic and dissolve this virus. Lead us to your path of healing, cure, conversion, and holiness. Glorify your name forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer fruit of the earth. 
work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine, we offer fruit of divine. Work of our hands, it will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God. Forever, amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Forever, Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings of our devotion today be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, for they are prompted by the glorious commemoration of St. Stephen the Martyr, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our minds, so that as we recognize in Him God made visible, we may be caught up through Him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Jose, our Cardinal Archbishop, with all the bishops and the clergy. We pray for the intentions of Mabi Reyes, who celebrates her birthday today. And we lift up to you, O oh Father, the healing of all the sick members of the Society of St. Paul in the Philippines and Macau, for the healing of Matet, Violi and Bernie Pepito, Jonathan Hernandez, Tess Labadan, Charina De Leon Nidwasa, Charles Eriga, Jack Sales, Maximino De Sena, Chit Calicdan, Romulo Garcia, Rino Ramos, Rene Portillo, Perla Saldajeno, Atina Marie Montes, MJ Mangawil, Michael Heneta, Timothy O'Connor, Che Aniceto, Tomas Dumpit, Julio Carlos Rojas Lara, Renato Vidal, Audi Quintana, Roby Kino Calicdan, Reggie Reyes, Rose Magno, Arlet Mendoza, Marie Flor Ebio, Corazon Reyes, Lisa Mapayo Tupas, Ligaya Guzman, Silveriano Guzman, and Rowena Corvina. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember in a special way, O Lord, the members of our families, our relatives and our friends, and all the parishioners of the Lady of Soros have died, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, with Saint Joseph, her most beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Paul, with Saint Stephen and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teachings, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take away the sins, the sins of the world. Of the world. Grant, Grant us, us peace. This is our Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Communion antiphone. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. For the many mercies which surround us, we give thanks to you, O Lord, who save us through the nativity of your Son and gladden us with the celebration of the blessed martyr Stephen, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. 
Christmas gift giving. Gagawin po natin sa January 8, Pista ng Epiphany, Huling Araw ng Pasko, ang Annual Rice Gift Giving. Pwede po kayong magbigay ng cash or in-kind sa opisina ng parokya. Bukas po ito mula 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. araw-araw. Parol para sa parokya. Ang mga parol na gawa sa copies na gagamitin sa Christmas decoration sa loob ng simbahan ay available po for sponsorship. 500 pesos ang sponsorship sa bawat parol. Tumulong po tayong punuin ang parol ng parol ang ating simbahan para sa isang masayang Pasko. Ilalagay ang pangalan ng sponsor sa bawat parol. Ang, mali, ang malilikom na pera ay gagawin sa construction renovation fund natin. Church renovation. Patuloy po ang mga pagpapagawa sa dambana. Malapit ng matapos ang dalawang confessional or consultation rooms. Ang renovation ng altar, stairway to Mata Dolorosa de la Pieta at bagong tabernakulo ay mayroon pa pong payables na 2 million pesos. Makipag-ugnayan po sa messenger account Our Lady of Sorrows that parish para sa inyong donations and love offerings. Ang ating Metro Bank account Our Lady of Sorrows parish 2917291822793. OLSP Religious Store. Available na po ang mga copies ng 2023 Simbahay Filipino Bible Diary. 2023, 365 Days with the Lord Bible Diary. 2023, Devotional Calendar. 2023, Mata Dolorosa de la Peta Wall Calendar at Pandasal, Volume 1 to Volume 4. Maraming salamat po. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and joy of the martyrs and saints who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with an ending blessing. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and in the love and in the joy of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas po sa inyong lahat. Merry Christmas, Father. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City, mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya, mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, salamat po. God bless you, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta cares for you.